Hi everyone, this is a quick video on the new tools update which Wapri just released very, very recently. So, you know, a lot of people actually have been asking me how to navigate uh, the tools section especially because Wapri, initially the tools section had, uh, you know, the very nice interface where you could actually add properties to the tools. But unfortunately, after Wapri has updated the tool structure, uh, you can't uh, easily add that uh, those functionalities okay so let me just give you an example let's say this is a sq account checker this is this is a, a tool which i had created in the previous version of wapi so if you can see this is a tool and uh, this is a tool description out here and then this is basically make uh, you know so you have a make server url and then you have header section make section which is literally empty and messages so there is no way for you to actually enter any properties you know like initially we used to have name email patient id or something like that okay now if you see the code out here you can see that there is something called tool description which is of course coming from here but you also have something called parameters and properties you know like right here patient id but you can't see patient id right here right it's in the tools in the code it's there but if you see, there is nothing called patient ID anywhere out here. Even if I put in headers, there's nothing. Okay. So essentially what we need to do is uh, we need to update this code, but you cannot update it from here. What you need to do is you need to do that from API. So we'll go to WAPI documentation. Let's go there. Uh, this is the one. Let's go to API reference and you can see calls, phone numbers, squads, and tools section right here. Okay, this is where you will actually, this is the section you'll use to update the tool or to create a new tool. So let's create a new tool. I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. So when you create a new tool, there is something called play out here. Essentially, play is nothing but uh, a way Wapi will help you to build the tool, okay, using your API reference. So the first thing is you need to get an API key and you can do that in your Wapi dashboard. So let me just open that and then you have something called Wapi API keys. I'm going to open that in a new tab right here okay and i've already created a key if you don't have a key you can create one like just click on add key and create a key okay so i'm just going to copy this one take it there and let's put this out here bearer and in token paste it and that's it so you close now it's authenticated okay so now what i can do is i can actually create my tool right here all right so let's start off by so for this example, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to close this for this example. I'm going to create a tool which is already existing. Okay. So this is, as I said, this is SQ account checker. What it essentially does is it takes the patient ID and then goes into the make scenario into a CRM and then gets the patient details. All right. But we don't have to worry about that. What we need to see is that this SQ account checker has a code and in within the code itself, we have something called patient ID. And this is exactly what we need to create. Okay, so I'm going to create a new tool called SQ account checker new. Okay, so I'm just going to write it out here. So it's easier. I'm just going to open a notepad. Let's put this right now like this and the rest I'm just going to copy from there only. Okay, so where do we start entering this? Okay, so and you can see on the side, it will start building it up. So I'm going to say go to open. It says DTMF and call function make. So let's click on make. Okay, and then the metadata is required two optional properties. What it says is scenario ID and trigger ID, which we don't, I don't use those. So then the next four optional properties are async function, function, message, and server. So this is where you put the server URL. So let's open this. I'm going to say server, and within the server, it says URL. So let's stick that URL. Okay, and where is this URL? It's right here. And you can, you can create a new uh, make scenario and use a new webhook, whatever you want to do. So for, for convenience, I'm just creating, I'm recreating this so that you can see that the code out here is exactly the same code which we'll create for the new uh, function, okay? So let's uh, use this out here. Let me just close this, copy this. Let's go here and paste this out here, okay? And you can see that this got updated, right? All right, so we have done uh, the make server after that the next thing is that we need to add some let's see what else is there so we've added that the next what we do is generally we add function so this is the function name sq account checker so we need to put a function name and a description 
so let's say where function is right here okay so I'm gonna say function and within the function I'll say function name so we want to create our a new function called SQ account checker new or whatever updated or something whatever you want to call it okay so let's put this out here and this has three additional properties so there is strict description and parameters so we'll use the description first so let's add the description here let's go here and then I'm just gonna copy this for convenience let's copy this right here okay and let's paste it here okay and then you can see that server URLs there now the function name and description is also updated after this I'm gonna go to parameters and then let's add some parameters okay and in parameters the thing is it says okay object which is automatically defined within properties I'm gonna say add item and what is the key now key is patient ID right so because we want to add the patient ID let's go back and you can see patient ID out here let me put a dash there I'll say ID okay so you can see the difference this is the key and then of course uh, we want to put patient ID is of type what so let's put it a string so then you can see out here it is updated properties patient ID and type is string okay object everything else ready and actually we can add something else as well so let's put in add one more item add new item and I'm gonna call it let's say first name patient name or patient first name or something okay and this is of type string as well so this is also updated right here okay and this does not exist so if you go here this does not exist out here but let me just put this thing and of course we need to add the description as well so patient ID entered by the user this is the description you can put in whatever you want I'm just trying to hurry up things okay so key values there and I'm gonna add some description out here as well so let me just open this and there is something called description so let's put the description right here and this is updated and I'm gonna put a description out here as well okay and that's it and it's called uh, let's say uh, I'm just gonna say users first name okay okay that's it so as you can see if you see the code okay and let's compare the code out here you have something called function function name is there and it says async false I don't want the async anyways description pra parameters and object everything is right here so let's see do we have all of these things we have the server URL for make we have the function we have the function name we have the description we have the type property and just we, because we added two of those right so we have patient ID as well as first name because we added two properties and uh, that's pretty much it that's it right and then you have this extra thing which will automatically add so async is equal to false uh, okay <clears throat> so you can see the async is right here let's go to async and then within the async it says where is async gone oopsie where is it gone okay it has come right here so you started off this boolean so you can start that off and it will come as async on it should get updated right here somewhere properties properties don't async is equal to true okay but I don't want that so I'm just gonna make async is equal to false okay and that's it so now if you see all of this thing is right here so it's async is equal to false and everything just falls as is all right so we have added everything right now and that's it that's all you need to do okay so whatever properties you want to add basically everything is available to you but this is an API format it's not very simple but it is still available to you okay so now let's go back the only thing which is remaining now is that if you see we don't have an SQ account checker new out here right so that is the function which you are creating but we don't have it right now so what we'll do is if it's all everything is created all you have to do is just say send request now when I say send request it gives me a response of a 201 which is good which is perfect and now let's refresh this and we should be able to see that tool right here and there you go SQ account checker news right here and let's open the code and within the code you can see you have SQ account checker new 
Or whatever we added, everything is right here. Patient ID is here, description here, this is the first name as well, description is here, and then all the everything async is equal to false. So everything is right here, okay? And that's essentially how you use tools. I mean, that's how you create a tool in this updated, uh, you know, interface. And uh, that's it. Hope this was helpful and uh, thanks and see you next time.